hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn how to create a database and a table in asp.net project guys so guys let's get started so first up guys when you create your project that comes under your solution explorer where inside this just click on right click on your project name and go to add add with new item and by default it's selected with web okay so let's move on visual basic over here and you can search for the sql server database perfect so we have got here and that extension is .mdf so we need the .mdf file guys and now let's name the database so my database name will be funda db asp project okay and now let's click to add okay it's just a warning and yep guys you can see that our database is created under our project so let's move to our server explorer go to view server explorer and check under your database connection you will get your database name guys perfect so now let's open that here are your options guys and this is your tables so over here you will be creating all the tables so right click on it and let's create a user table to register the users guys so add new table so now guys let's add our column fields how many fields we require over here so first step the id will be given default and we will make this to auto increment so whenever we insert the record the id should be incrementing automatically okay so for that guys you can just go to its property right click and move to property over here and let's move below identity specification open that and make it to true guys so this will make it to that is your unique your primary key and it will be auto incremented also now guys let's add the fields so i'm going to add first name last name let's make it then phone number where care so same way guys you have to copy this and paste for this also your first name last name and your phone number then email where care and just allow null and the password guys then where care of 50 that's it so now guys let's rename this i mean name this table as users table okay so this will be our users table and now guys let's save this table into a database so let's click on update update database okay done and let's refresh our database over here guys and you can find the users table perfect so we have successfully created our user table guys and now let's continue next video with registration page designing and inserting the data into our user table okay so guys, in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share